Hey everyone, so we picked up Sasha. This is a uh, Walgreens exclusive, so you can only pick her up at Walgreens. And the hunt, it'll be fun for you. <laughs> at least from my experience, because pretty much what I like to do is definitely give them a call in advance. Give them a call, give them this barcode number. If you guys didn't see, if you guys didn't see the toy hunt, yeah, you just give them a call, give them that number, they'll check to see if they have it in stock. If they don't, what they'll actually end up doing is just, you know, they, if you ask them, if you ask them if there's any local Walgreens in the area that might have it, they should be able to look that up. But I'm going to tell you this. It is a struggle. You might be saving some gas money, but 9 out of 10 times, the people that work there, they don't know who these people are. They don't know who these superstars are. So good luck. I want to wish you the best of luck because she was pretty tough to find. Right here on the side, it's got a nice looking image of Sasha Banks. This box, it's definitely different. It's different from the other Elites because if you remember the other Elite series, they had the description like in one section. This this has it scattered throughout. I mean, we got over here, legit boss, three-time Raw Women's Champion, finishing move, bank statement. It's telling you that she was the very first WWE Women's Champion for Raw, right? She beat, uh, she versus Charlotte? Was it? Yeah, 725, 2016. It's hard to tell. Most of these boxes are usually wrong. Um, the one thing that's not wrong, though, is look at this. Becky Lynch. She's supposed to be part of the lineup. This is awesome. This figure right here, I definitely want that. Those titles, these are going to really complete your collection. They haven't shown images. I mean, she hasn't popped up yet. So it's safe to say that they're definitely building up the anticipation for for her to come out. Because, man, I hate when they do that. They just, oh, they make you wait and wait. Let's get her out of the box because I, I don't want to wait anymore. This is so cool. She is looking freaking amazing. Like, even the backer card on this, look at this. It's got a nice little backer card. It's gold. It says women's division. This is so cool, but we're not here for the box. I mean, some of you might, but right here, here she is. Before we look, uh, in, before we get a closer look at her, I want to take a look at that belt because this is, like I said, the very first time that we're getting that, right? The raw women's title. This is so cool. It, it is basically a repaint from the WWE title. I mean, that's technically what the real one is anyways. So instead of it black, it is white. Got the nice plates on there. Got the nice logo. And I like this material that they're using now on belts versus the old ones. These are just more flexible. They clip on so much easier. Like, you don't have to struggle to get those into the hole, which is nice, right? That's what Alexa said. Look at that. No issues. Pops right in there. You can put it on her. I actually want to put this on, uh, on Alexa. Did I say it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely put this on. But we're going to do that towards the end of the video because technically she is our current champion, right? So the boss, a lot of accessories. We get glasses with it too. We get some nice white glasses with some nice line work right there. Look at that. She can still see through those, believe it or not. Let's put it on there because I am curious. It does have like the two inserts. It's, it's a little bit noticeable, not that bad to where it like... It causes an issue when you pose her with them off. Look at this. This is cool. I like that. The hair, nice. It's like a pinkish red, I would say. And it even comes with her necklace right there. She's got legit boss literally everywhere. I mean, not only in the necklace, but also on the brass knuckles. These brass knuckles, they are removable. So right there, it says legit. It doesn't, I mean, it really doesn't say that. I think that's what they're trying to go for. But it is hard to pick it up. I don't see legit right there, but I, you definitely see boss over here. On the left ones, definitely see boss. On the back too, look at this. I'm telling you, there is legitness literally everywhere. And the sculpt work on this, this is amazing. Not just on the backside, because I'm definitely loving the backside, but the head skate, so much better than the old one. I'm definitely seeing Sasha in, in this figure, just a lot more. I'm loving all the colors too. They, they went with some great color choices, the blues, the pinks. The yellows, magenta. There's no magenta in here. She just reminds me of this girl I used to know. Her name was Magenta. But look at these wrist straps right here. They like continue all the way up through the uh, upper bicep area. They crisscross. It would have been cool had they sculpted it on. But I think that's just asking way too much, right? On the knee pads, it's got a nice split design from the yellow and blue. It's divided by the pink. Right there on the right says Sasha Left Banks. So cool. Hold on. We gotta put we gotta oh we gotta put that title on the right. I mean, I, I do believe that Sasha she'll make a great champion again one day. We know we all know it. Come on, it's it's the boss, right? I mean, she wouldn't be called the boss if uh if she wasn't the boss. But right here, man, I'm just loving what Mattel's doing with all these women superstars. They are just going all out with these. And these two right here, oh man, they're definitely gonna 
they knocked some people off in the top 10 for sure for the top figures of the year because that were oh my gosh oh my goodness so cool so overall great looking figures i gotta give it a solid nine i would give it a 10 if those freaking brass knuckles weren't a pain in the ass and they didn't fall off every five seconds you're gonna lose those you're gonna lose those for sure i can guarantee you of that put them in a bag put them on a ziploc bag if you keep it on her hands they might fall off on you but for the time being i'm loving this until next time everybody